Yeah, this is the video demonstration of the, the assay for detection of salmonella using deep steep assay. And here we have the sample of the strawberry after the 24 hours enrichment. And one is the tender salmonella, and the second one is without salmonella. And I'm going to show you how to do the assay. The first, you then get the enrichment culture and mix a little bit. Then put a drop into the small vial. the same thing for negative sample. A drop into the vial. And this is the deep stick and they have the direction and the arrow should be pointed down and you carefully insert the deep stick into the vial and the same thing for the negative and, and the liquid will start to move upward and after 15 minutes we can see the line if there is one line this means it's negative if the two lines appear that will be positive so then we'll wait for 15 minutes, then we'll come back. Okay, now, it's after 20 minutes. Now, now we can look at the positive sample. You can see on the top you have two, two lines. On the top is the control and the lower line is the testing line and since both both line appear that means this is the positive it has the salmonella and the second one it only one line the control line shows up so this is the negative for salmonella in this way, we can tell I mean, if the sample of the strawberry contains the salmonella or no. In the same format, I mean, the dipstick assay can be used for salmonella testing and also can be used for listeria and for E. coli 0157H7. And since the assay itself is very simple and rapid, Hopefully we can have this test performed on the farm and in the strawberry farm and for the rapid identification of any potential contamination of the foodborne pathogen. This is the end of the demonstration.